What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another solo leveling arise video. Alright guys, we are gonna do a free to play run here on the guild boss, specifically using the A5 skewer and the A8 falcon. And these are two weapons that I have at very, very minimal, minimal skills. Uh, so I want to show you guys kind of how they work, what they are meant for, and how they will help you guys in the guild run if you don't have the Moonshadow Daggers or if you don't have yourself a Grimoire. Now my Grimoire is a one, so I don't, I barely, have, no, sorry, not a one, a zero. Uh, I'll show you guys real quick here on my free to play account. I've, I've been very unlucky with it, been trying to put it on my wish list, never getting it. And then my, my Moonshadow Daggers are a three. Ideally, I want to push to a five, obviously, to get that extra 15% more damage, but they're, they're they're pretty good where they are um, but I, I do want to show you guys a little bit of how this works uh, with the two different weapons and why they're useful so for free to play players these are going to be fairly good weapons to use if you don't have the alternatives that I just mentioned I'm going to show you guys my setup real quick before we start with the video so for Jinu I'm using the following skills just so you guys are aware uh, we have the um, armor break with wind to do extra damage obviously you want to keep this up on the opponent as much as you possibly can allowing you to do 10% more damage on that boss and then the next one I have here is going to be the red uh, the crushing blow uh, specifically specifically the ascension break which gives us more uh, power gauge increase and ultimate so those two are going to be the two skills used my actual um setup here is going to be intelligence so full intelligence now, this is an expensive thing to do going back and forth this is the time to do it now though because artifacts are free to swap so make sure you take advantage of this event going on right now okay you guys can see here my artifacts for genu is going to be full eight piece curse set sorry curse set blessing set so you're saying that and then my attack etc is going to be 14k only with the two different weapons equipped here uh 50 crit 193 um cooldown reduction is 11 percent and this is important right because for the blessing stones you actually want to have the following blessing stones on the reawakening for the cooldown effect uh you if you have this i just got this today we are one was going to really help you push a little bit more damage for all your hunters uh bloodlust unfortunately i only have it a, a rare i wish i had it higher but this would have really helped with more damage but unfortunately here we are dealing with the four percent extra uh defense and then i have boss layer on here this one can be swapped for a couple different things if you want to, you know, do more dashes to do more shadow steps, etc. It's up to you on this one, but that's what I currently have going on for him on this one, all right? So, and then we have the two weapons as mentioned, uh, and then we have, of course, the skills as mentioned. So, this is how it's going to work. Now, in terms of my setup here guys it's not optimal in any way shape or form i am broke i have 300k gold left uh, unfortunately it's been very very difficult to maintain gold in this but i do have my water team here with alicia uh, which is wearing a full here i'll show you guys everything actually i may as well just show you guys this so she's wearing a full piece curse set uh, ideally you want curse and expert on this but i don't have it cha's got fully a piece curse set uh saw's got for uh full greed uh mary's got full um sorry four piece curse and four piece expert she's the only one that's really geared to do this kind of damage uh choi here if i do use him he usually has for uh the full piece greed uh woo has greed as well too sorry curse set not greed set curse set uh woo has greed set um Maylin has blessing and then Hansi May has Blessing as well. Now, for her, you want to have, like, Sylph and Blessing, maybe. Uh, Min also, Sylph and Blessing, or, you know, Mei Lin would probably be better for Sylph and Blessing, to be honest with you. But, I have, again, don't have the goal to do it. Uh, Gun He has four-piece, sorry, eight-piece Greed. Uh, and, and then, I don't unfortunately have Lee Bora's weapon, so I don't really use her for this fight. And I'm not ready to build Anna, nor am I built ready to have enough gold for Emma. So, that's the setup right now going. Okay, you guys can see here, there's the team. Now, the main thing, of course, in this fight is survivability and keeping your debuffs up. Okay, so let's walk you through this and kind of go through. Now, the grill at A5 has a specific use and specific use only, and that is to maintain that, that grill buff on everybody so everybody does 10% more damage. Uh, you guys can see. So start off with this. Do a shadow step quickly. Now, this is important. Make sure you're facing the opponent with the... Uh, with the um what's it called the falc the the frostbite because if you're not you're actually gonna not do any damage and the debuff won't apply so sometimes it's weird the the way they set it up the the view is like sometimes misses like this right he'll turn around and do do it like in a whole different area and i hit the boss and you'll lose out on the entire buff you can maintain this buff up 100 percent of the time which is the beauty of it and then for the grill guys the main thing with the grill is you're gonna need to make sure that you have it um where, where see how we moved away from it if you do that move and it's it's away from the opponent you will be doing a lot less damage okay so the problem with the grill is the fact that you have to have it done while you're near everybody so everybody can take advantage of this of this buff if you don't have it on, on everybody then you're gonna actually miss out on a lot of the damage now the skills that you have for your uh setup is of course going to be number one to do the extra damage so you want to keep that up and then you want to cast your fire one as much as you can in order to maintain your ultimate there you guys go see now we have erosion up again there's two stacks of it Make sure that's always up 24-7. You never want to be without that one. Okay, and when he does his breath move, 
uh, make sure you follow him, okay? So you can actually do a shadow step. It's very important that you do follow. And then here, the grill, make sure he stops when he's doing that, bre that breath. Because if you if you do the grill away from him, again, you're going to miss out on a lot of damage, right? So there's a shadow step. Make sure that's always up. You guys can see here the damage is okay. It's not it's not great, but this is an alternative way for people who a lot of people don't have the Moonshadow Daggers who are free to play. So this is going to be one of your only like decent options to go with and i've given you guys a couple other options to go with but this is one of the better ones i find in order to just at least get him to rage four maybe rage five right um so some of you guys will be able to push with optimal setups and, and gear to rage five maybe even six some maybe even to seven uh but most free to play won't be past six uh, most of you guys won't be past six at least all right so let's go to here here go now do the grill make sure everybody's near See that, see that red circle? That's where everybody has to be in order to take advantage of this. If they're not near that, then you're not taking advantage of it. Now, you have to shadow step every time, guys. Missing a shadow step is way too critical in this fight uh, because then your whole team misses out on that whole debuff, right? So make sure you are constantly keeping your shadow step up and your erosion up. There's the erosion again. There's two stacks again. You can see it. Okay, make sure you break here. All right. So there we go. There's the grill. Everybody gets it. Erosion. Everybody gets it. Perfect. Do your alt. Alt would have been better with Shadow Step, obviously, but we might be able to build it one more time. So you don't want to waste that extra little bit of damage that you can do. Okay, there's an alt there. Alright, here we go. And I'm only doing this not because it's, again, this is not optimal in any way, shape, or form, guys. This is just an alternative for you guys. Who don't have the grimoire uh, and don't have another weapon and you're brand new and like this is this is the only way for you to kind of take advantage of this a5 weapon that we have you know it was given to us for free so may as well if you can use it may as well utilize it right and you guys can see here i'm at 400k now uh with these two weapons so i mean again not optimal in any way shape or form like at all but hey you know what it's something and for many of you this is going to be your best choice of weapons to go with all right so there you guys go so again um this is a lot of this fight for free to play especially is going to be dictated by your your dps your hunters right so 421k right there uh you're like you see there my alicia did the most damage my mirai did second Cha did third now remember whoever your a team is that's who jinnu is going to provide the buff to so if i put mirai's team as my a team they would have got the buff and she would have out dps alicia or they would have been evened out but alicia is my strongest character so i'm using her as my main dps but you guys can see here the, the the two big things to note the falcon can keep up the erosion pretty much at all times right so very easy to keep up and that's 24 24 percent more more damage uh the grill the biggest issue with the grill is you have to make sure the dragon's not moving when you're casting it so be a little bit patient make sure you're either doing it when he's done his his cast or you know he's targeting somebody and he's not moving around then you cast the grill around your main dps that's the main thing to remember because whoever's in that circle will take advantage of that buff anybody who's not in the circle will actually not take care of and take advantage of the buff at all so those are two different options for those who don't have moon shadow daggers or for those who don't have the falcon uh the these two free to play weapons are going to be fairly decent to get you guys somewhat of an okay score uh, again my team is by no means optimal right now in terms of setups and gear uh we think we can probably do a lot better to be honest if i take Saad, for example i don't think she's worthwhile having in this team Wu's actually not doing too well either uh so like having just a better overall setup here would work much better for scores you can probably push this to about 475 500 um but again these two weapons are not the best weapons but they're free to use and they're available to you all right guys this is pain thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one